unboxing to all a very merry unboxing to you. Unboxing is a thing that makes balls to be true. A very merry unboxing, a very merry unboxing, a very merry unboxing, merry unboxing to all. Hello and welcome to another installment of my very merry unboxing. If you do not know what I am unboxing today, dun, 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 dun. it is um, yeah. it is the Indominus Rex breakout. It is a big set, and I'm gonna need scissors. I'm gonna need the orange sharp scissors. We'll grab it. Orange sharp scissors. Yeah, but you can like barely see my head over the camera. So, um, the Indominus Rex breakout is pretty big. <clears throat> this is the front of the box. Help me. This is the back of the box. It's huge. It shows a whole bunch of things. Mm -hmm. So, I got this set. Um, for this set, since it is in the... Yeah. A one hundred, a one thousand, one hundred and fifty-six piece. So I might need help from my dad to build it. What the? Are you willing to do that, Dad? Uh, I think if Evan can do it, you can do it. Evan has, doesn't have this. Well, who is? Oh right, one? Evan too big. Yeah. All right. You got one, two, three, four. That is I think it's so big it actually came with a book. Nine. Ten. Let's see. Here's Eleven. Little, these are your little. Twelve. Thirteen bags. <laughs> My goodness, people. This set is so big, it came with literally a book. I bet I could make that for you. No. We See have that? 13 bags. In one day. Book. Two little wire things. One plate. All of our stickers. And a big bag of the Indominus Rex. Since we have the bag right here and the Indominus Rex isn't a merge into one of the other bags, Let's open, let's put together the Indominus Rex right now. There are parts falling everywhere. Here. Let, let's Indominus build. Indominus Rex is the first because they knew you would want to do that first. So, we take this, then we put the two legs on. There we go. We have the two legs on. Now we need the head. It smells like things. Let me put. Let me put the head in. No. Let me put it. Put the tail in. We'll put two arms in. There we go. Mm, all right, there we go. This is the Indominus Rex. Look at it. Its mouth can open and close. It clicks into a couple different positions. Its head can move up and down. Its arms move up and down. You can turn its hand all the way around. Its legs move like this so you can make him running. And his tail can swivel around. I don't know why you would do that. Maybe like, like this, but not all the way like that. Because that would be painful for him. 
So, this is the Indominus Rex. Look at it. I will show you him compared to a Lego minifigure in this set after, and maybe the Hulk. I want to see how big he is compared to Hulk. So, on to bag number one. Um, I'll be back once bags one, two, and three are done. Because I do not want to unpause and pause the video 13 times. So, yeah, I'll be back once bags one, two, and three are done. I'm back. That, that's weird, but anyway. I've finished bags one, two, and three. So first, I should start out with showing you Tanner's top. Bag one. So bag one is not this big part, but let me detach this part. No, no, no. So, in bag one, you build this. <laughs> this is the gyrosphere launch pad. All you do is push on that little black dot and it will roll the gyrosphere. If you want to take the character out, all you need to do is take off those two parts. Pull off one part, pull out Zach. Then, let me show you Zach's character. Okay. So, this is Zach's character. He has two faces. One face is scared because, of course, the Indominus Rex is gonna eat him. Then the second face is like, oh, I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> so, that is bag one. Again, if you wanna take the Jail Spare part, take off the two things like that. Then if you want to put Zack in, all you need to do is put him on the four studs in the middle. It's kind of hard because this swivels like that. And yeah, all you really need to do is just tap it closed after you're done. Oh. That was weird. Then Zach fell out. But anyway, we good? Yeah, that's all you need to do. Even though Zach fell out of his seat, you see, there's no Zach in here. No Zach. <laughs> no. Now it's like one of those little balls you guys had when you were kids, and there were tumbly things inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you fix that? All you need to do is pull off those two parts, then just. Alright. Alright. Bag two is this part. You push this part on this part and it will push out. There's a there's a floodlight right there. And bag one, the part from bag one goes and sticks right on bag two. So then you can push it out. Nice. And then this part will give it a better boost because you have more power that's pushing the gyrosphere off. Nice. Then bag three, this is what it is. Bag three, you get like a little cracked window, some high voltage sign, two control panels. No control panels. Okay, keep going. And 
this part up here, I think that turns into a helicopter pad. Ooh. And there are some little lines that are blue. They're light blue. And um, you will connect this to other parts to make like a triangle. So yeah, that's bag one, two, and three. I will be back once I have four, five, and six done. So I'm back and I finished um, bags four, five, and six. And I have bag seven, eight, and nine right here ready to go. But with that bag, I got this done. There's a little chair and some stuff. At the end of the vi when I'm showing you everything, um, you'll have a closer view of, with the camera so you can see everything instead of like not seeing that much. So there are some doors, the little helipad is up here. There's actually a crane instead of the helicopter. So yeah, um, we will show you like a closer view with the camera when I'm showcasing the rest when like it's all done so um, yeah I will see you once bags eight nine seven eight and nine are done now we're back and I've finished seven eight and nine this is all that came out of it and that plus this little helicopter thing but yeah that's all that came out of it I'm surprised about that. I thought that it would at least start on the next section, but bag 10 starts on the next section. But the Indominus Rex is getting trapped, so he's not going to be able to escape in a little bit. He can still escape by running like that. So we got to make sure he doesn't escape by building up the rest of the set. And then he won't escape and kill everyone. <laughs> Alright, so I will see you once the rest of the bags are done and the set is finished. I have been working on this set for three hours. Three hours! Tamara can sit with you. I am... I had to stop I'm, in the shower, first of all. Yeah, I had to get in the shower for my normal, my normal routine. He but did this I, whole entire book. All of that. I'm serious. My legs are so tired. Well, how right. are your legs tired? You've been sitting. Okay, show them so. the rest of what you built. Let's right. show them. So this was this yeah. was the last three bags. These, this was this, ten, eleven, and twelve. And this <clears throat> was ten, eleven, and twelve. This can open up. Dominus Rex. Yeah, yeah that's come one of my favorite features. This opens up and it closes. There's a little weapon rack right here. And, and he's getting really tired, so he's yeah, really he's, slowing down. He's going to start yeah. showing this in just a second, but before he does, he wants to show you all the trash that came within the box. I'll be right back. This much trash. Look at it. This all many bags. This. All that trash. How many bags, Joshua? Twelve. Twelve bags Twelve of Lego bags. stuff. All of this. All right. So and the Indominus Rex is gonna eat all of it now. <laughs> Dinosaur behind you! Wait, what? <laughs> okay. That was weird. Now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pause it, and I'm going to flip the camera around, and I'm actually going to uh, zoom in and show you guys some of the uh, features and stuff while Joshua talks about it. One second. Okay, um, so here we go. First and foremost is the Indominus Rex that Joshua was talking about earlier. He looks awesome. Yeah, he does. Look at, look at the pattern on this piece. That pattern is really cool. It looks nice and scaly and you can tell that it's got like extra spikes along the sides 
The tail almost looks like it can turn on the back end too, can it? Um, like if you hold this front end, can you move the back end? No. Okay. His feet, I mean legs. Yep. So you can make him look like he's running after something. Yep. And then, so we showed the Indominus Rex already. And but I want to show him again because he's just awesome. He is awesome. Check that out. Uh, so he his can hands also turn. hold a minifig in his hands. So let me get the vet out of this crane, which we'll show you in a little bit. And one thing, minifigure scale. Yep. Tiny, tiny. So... Not too tiny. Oh, and where's the Hulk? You said you, Tanner, oh. do you want to go grab the Hulk? Why? Because he wanted to show how big the Hulk was in comparison to this. So, let me try and get this, the vet in. So, you can have so you can him hold him. Yeah. In his hand, like, oh, I'm going to eat you. Yeah. I'm going to eat you. Ah, okay, eat you. let's show the other things. All right. Ah, is that the one? So Let's here is out with the gate, and I might actually have to come around the table so I can show you this. So we've got this little ball here. It's the gyrosphere, and with the gyrosphere, there's a button up inside here, right there. It's a, like a lever, and when you pull it. The gyrosphere rolls off. Now, one thing I really like about this gyrosphere. I couldn't find it. Is that when it that rolls, look. He stays right upright. Good. Look at that. The gyrosphere rolls and the character stays upright. That is pretty cool. Look at it. So, that was the little gyrosphere that sticks on. Do, 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 do. And then... We have the gate here. It's got some some cool little plants and stuff, and a sign right so here. Jurassic. It's like a Jurassic Park logo. No, it's the Indominus Rex. Just the Indominus Rex. It's the oh, it's a logo for the Indominus Rex. And up here is the Jurassic World logo. And the gate. Look, it's got like little electrified things along the top. And look, he's looking over the top like, hey, what's Hello. up? And then... In the middle, like, you see these little brown parts? Can okay. you see it? That? Oh, the brown parts are what open the gates. But you can't quite fit him through, so you'll have to, like, pretend like... Mm -hmm. and do that. So the brown parts, you pull, and it'll... Open and, close open and close it. There's little brown pieces right here. And then it's got little floodlights. Right here. And it's got little yellow like hazard lights right there. Hazard light? Yes, yeah, oh. so all of these are like little hazard lights. Oh, these are orange and blue hazard lights. Mm -hmm. Right here, we have like a little weapon rack. So there's like a little staff. And there's a see. little gun. Very cool. And then and there's then, another thing that the Indominus Rex involves. So, so over on this side. Do you see how the walls like sort of cracked? Yeah. Oh, the Indominus Rex can break out. And then inside here, you, look in here. You've got more, like you've got your windows and you've got... This a crane. crane. The vet sits in the crane. It showed in the instructions to put the vet in, but... And then, is that like a food cage? Yeah, it has all the food, which is only two things. Okay, like and chicken? It, it, it's a bad idea to feed him with a crane because he wants to hunt. Yeah, and he can just pull it down, huh? Yeah, he would just go like, and yep. pull the crane in. And then, let me look around here. So then... You've got like the electric tops again, and you've got like electrified fence signs. Here are some more like little levers to pull down and on. Maybe that turns the power on and off for the electric fences. And it's got more uh, jungle 
foliage there. Right and then, oh, look, here's Dr. like a spotlight. Will. This is Dr. Wu. Yeah. The characters. He, he, uh, he's got his, his vials. So this is one set, one face. Dude, I couldn't turn, turn it around. Oh, there we go. That's one face. Smiley one, uh-huh. And there's a smirky one. Yep, and he's got a, uh, Jurassic Park logo on his back. And then over here on this side, he's got a badge and everything. Very cool. And then... We've got the, like I said, these are like little spotlights. So if the dinosaur escapes, a little spotlight and then a railing, like a guard railing. And then the helicopter on top. And it's got like a little landing pad with little lights all around it. Look and at the that. Jurassic World symbols. Like a helicopter landing pad with the lights to let it know where it's where to land at. And oh. the blade spins. And then... There are flick flyer oh, missiles. Yeah, keep it still. And then we've got the logo on the front and oh! Flip fire missiles. And there's this is the ACU trooper. And then there's a little trooper guy. Let me take up the visor so you can see his face better. Now the helicopter, is that the same? No, it's it's different it's than smaller. the one. Yeah, it's a smaller helicopter than the one he built earlier. And Get then, that one. So that's pretty cool. And then here is the ACU. When so, I'm like working on a picture on Photoshop. He's got a. Uh, Mom said that looks like Papa. He's got a flip visor. And, and a walkie-talkie or something. He has another face. And then... That's like a calm oh, face. There's the one face and the other face. And then there's his back. Very cool. It has the little JW409. Yeah, right on the edge there. Cool. And then over here, looking in, this is, this is inside the two doors that open from the sides here. Over here inside, you've got a desk with a picture of the Indominus Rex on it and a coffee mug. There's and also like a the tiny mi uh, Mr. DNA, if you can see that. I might actually need to get a flashlight, so... I'll yeah, I don't think it's showing. Yep, I don't think you can see that without the flashlight. But then there's, here's another like look through gate. Okay, here's the flashlight. Oh, okay, so let me see. I don't know if we'll be, yeah, that might be too bright too. Let's see. Oh, yep, nope, there he is. Little Mr. DNA, look at him. The and then there's, amber. oh, a crystal with amber and a mosquito. A mosquito. Inside, cool. A mosquito. So that's, that's pretty cool. And there's like a little spinny chair. Yep. One of those work chairs. And then over here, we have another Another view Spotlight of the crane. and another view of the crane. And here's the other side of the pin that has more of the electrified fence you can see signs. That and you can see cracked glass where he, where Indominus Rex was smashing against it trying to get out. And also there's like a little ladder and a caution rope. Mm. And here's a closer look at the vet. The vet doesn't have an alternate face, but yeah, there that's he the is. vet. Very um, cool. There he is. Awesome. And then I'm gonna do one last look on the inside here. There's a little tranquilizer gun. Very cool. So, um, so there we go, guys. Yeah, and Dominus Rex breakout. But before we go, I actually have to show you Zach. Oh, from inside the gyrosphere. Mm -hmm. I might have shown the him gyrosphere the opens game. up. I might you have, have to take the sides off, and then you can open the sphere itself. I might have shown you Zach at the beginning. I just can't remember. But here's one of his faces. Here's another look at, at Zach. He's got his little hoodie, his little smirk face, and then let's see just real quick if he has, oh no, there we go, 
So that was Zach. Very cool. Right on. And this set, if, if you get it, just a warning. Look at my face. Just a warning. This takes forever to build. But yes. You might need a little help with like the big bags. Yep. So, so very cool. Very good set, buddy. So that was the Indominus Rex Breakout Lego set from Jurassic World. Awesome, awesome set. It has a lot of really cool features. I think, honest to God, my favorite feature are these little gyro balls. That, I, I love that the most. But then the uh, Indominus Rex is super awesome as well. So leave us some comments down below and let us know uh, what you thought about this uh, review and this build. We'd be glad to hear from you. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and to uh, share us around Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Twitter, however you do. And please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed and joined our Funky Bunch, we thank you very much. We really appreciate that. And share us around with your friends. Get them to subscribe as well so that they can join our Funky Bunch. We'd love to have them. Have a great day, everybody. Ah!